Bonjour! Welcome back to Salty and Sweet. My name is Hermes. My name is Sarah. And today we're going back to France. Yeah! We've got our second batch of snacks that Lori dragged back for us from France. We're ready to dig in. But before we do... Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then share. And with all that said... Let's dig in! Okay, we have Vico's Monster Munch. I'm gonna pronounce it like a Midwestern mom. It's goat jambon fromage, and that's what it is. Goo jambon fromage. Hambon? Jambon? I can't, I can't pronounce ham or speak cheese. French. Ham and cheese. But it's ham and cheese. And they're little ghosts. Yeah. Fromage. Fromage. I used to have a fromage bag, and it had all different cheese, oh, pictures awesome. of cheese on it. Smells really cheesy. Oh, it does. These have a really great crunch. Really great crunch, and actually, this is a really, really good flavor. It's pretty light. It smells stronger than it tastes. And it smells mostly of cheese, not that much ham. Yeah. You know what? I kind of like these more than the ham fizz from uh, mm. uh, the Netherlands. They're actually good. Really nice. Super airy. snackable. Yeah, super snackable. Nice, airy, crunchy. They're crunchier than the bears, than the pumbar that we've had. Yeah. And they're spooky too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is your grandma. Just watch her disappear. I think... <laughs> From fear. From fear. <laughs> they're not necessarily my favorite thing I've ever had, even though I really like them. I still think I'm going to go dangerous because they're incredibly snackable. You would just eat this whole bag. They're so light and crispy. I agree. Dangerous. Here we have Brizard's. Cracking me. So, <laughs> crack and moi chocolate. It looks like a cake, a snack cake. Let's open this. Mine and Steve's favorite. Let's open this. We love a snack cake. Ooh, look at that. It comes <gasps> in a so package. Little. Very, very thin foil package. Oh, oh, it's a very oh, soft it's like a snack cake. Look at that. Delicacy. Oh, and it, it says crack. crack on it. I'm going to try some crack tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it says crack. Oh my so god. These are so good. They've got like a hard fudge mm -hmm. layer, but also like a soft chocolate layer. Soft fudge layer. It's got chocolate cake and vanilla cake. Mm -hmm. And then it's got like the the crack. The chocolate crack on top. Mm. It's really right. good. I'm giving it a delicious, for sure. Kids, do not try drugs. It's bad for you. Unless the doctor recommends it. But this is very good. Super I think it's good. delicious. It's delicious. Steve's going to be obsessed with these. <laughs> so what you're saying is, don't do drugs, but definitely do crack. <laughs> <laughs> definitely do crack. Okay, we have LOD frites. So they're gummy fries. LOD Nice gummy Oh, fries. I want the white one. Yeah. It's going to be pineapple. It's very soft. Ooh. I know. I like this kind of gummy when they're soft like that. Soft but chewy. That is actually really good. Mm, really was, good texture. I was worried it's going to be hard. Mm -mm. This is really nice and soft. The white one is really good. This is usually my favorite. It's usually pineapple. Let's try the red. Reds are always my jam, so. These are great. I love these. I think they're really, really good gummies. And I'm pretty critical of gummies. I'm going dangerous because wow. gummies are like my favorite. I don't know. I love chocolate too, but I really love gummies. And I usually am like a diehard Haribo fan, but Haribo? 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 But these are really, really good. I actually would say these are dangerous too for the fact that... That you've eaten like 10. That you get so much out of it. Yeah. Look at this. Normally with a no normal gummy, you get half the size, but these are fries. They're fries. I really love the texture and the flavor is good and it's got like a tiny bit of tang, but they're not sour. Okay, so this is Vico Curly Cacahuete L'Original. <laughs> it's funny because um, the uh, the brand is called Format Paws. I think the brand is Vito. But what is Format Paws? It probably means like now more. Uh. <laughs> It probably means like now more or something. I don't know. I don't know. Format pause. I'm thinking this is like either me or Steve editing. <laughs> you got a format, 
You got to pause. That is the name of our brand. <laughs> I, I feel like it's just something about the packaging. Huh, okay. Well, they are smaller than I thought they were going to be. They're very small. They smell up. I don't know what... It just says original flavor. It smells like right? peanut butter. What is it? Is it peanut butter? No. Can't be. What is this? It it's like a corn peanut butter. snack. But it is peanut butter? I mean, it tastes like peanut butter to me. Right? So it's like the... Bombas. Bombas. I actually prefer these over Bombas, the Israeli snack that we had. I think it's peanut butter. Oh, they've got a donut one. Right. But... They're it's tasty. A, it's also very savory. I actually really like this. Um, I would say this is delicious. Hermes doesn't like peanut butter. They're I, really tasty. Yeah. I think I'm going to go delicious too. Mm -hmm. They've got a good crunch, a little bit of salt, good peanut butter flavor. I love a peanut butter corn snack though. I'd have to say that part two of this French snack one is definitely better in terms of flavor and just, yeah. We saved the best for this episode. Right. Oh wait, we still have one more. We have one more, but this is very, very good. And I'm enjoying this more than our last one. <laughs> Veritable le petit écolier tendre queer a lot. So it's milk chocolate. <laughs> I think it has milk inside it. I don't know what I said. I don't know, it does say with milk, but I think that, I don't know if it means chocolate with milk, or I think it's got like a milk thing in the middle. Oh, look at that, it's like, you oh, know, it's if you were to sell this at a store, it's like, here you go, that's the packaging right there. You're gonna Petit go hawk these on the street? Let's share one for now. No. Yeah. Get out of here, share. Who shares? Not this guy. You literally just asked everyone to share our channel. Okay, Oh. Oh, Loom. it's really nice. Look They're at that. So it's so cute. fancy. Not even cracked or like melted. Mm -mm. I'm going to believe Lori like brought this back and that they're still intact so nicely. Mmm. This is good. These are great. Are you, have you ever had the, um, you know, the Kinder chocolates that have like the milk on the inside and then it's like coated in chocolate? It's kind of like, it's just like this, but without <gasps> the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. I saw it coming. Producer? The, the sneezing during our take? <laughs> I tried. I had it. How dare you? I had it. I had it. It was going away. And it just snuck Lost out. it. And now the camera's covered in stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't eat this. <laughs> now it's, uh, it's very good. <laughs> it's Man, really good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm actually kind of obsessed with these. I would go dangerous on this, actually. It's this delectable. Is really tasty. Because, like, the milk part, the milk center is really rich and creamy. It's really good chocolate and a nice little biscuit. And we've had the original ones of these. I think it was dark chocolate on top, which are also cute and very good. But these are extra special. These are really good. It pains me that we have to share it with Steve and our friend Jackie, who's off camera right now. <laughs> but... We have to do it because we're nice. <laughs> yeah, these but, are delicious. Dangerous? I say dangerous. I don't know if I'm going dangerous just because they're they're quite rich. I couldn't eat a whole thing, but they're really, really good. Get um, rich. Delicious, dangerous. Get rich. These French snacks were so tasty. I love them all. Yeah. They were cheesy and chocolatey and gummy, peanutty. Peanutty and cracky. Crunchy. Man, we really hit like all of the, all of the options. Yeah, this is great. Like, holy crap. The last one, like I said before, you know, Lori, no, no, like, you know, like not knocking on you or anything, but the first one, a little questionable, but you knew about that too. But these, ace, everything was great. Well, maybe we saved the better ones for now. I always do that whenever, like, so we just had Halloween here. We don't know what this is. <laughs> and I know, but even like what they look like. Well, okay, so when you were a kid and you did, you went trick or treating for Halloween. Did you save the better ones for last? No, I just ate everything. Jackie's saying she saved the best ones for last. <laughs> I did too. I would eat the ones I didn't like as much first, and then you always save the best ones for last. Just eat everything, kids. Not eat you. everything. Eat the crack. But it was a great episode, <laughs> and I enjoyed myself. Friday enjoyed herself too. Hey, yep. shut up. <laughs> And uh, yeah, with all that said, take it away, friend. Hope you enjoyed this episode.
thought of salty and sweet I might be biased But Taiwanese snacks Simply the best thing Don't be shy, friends Smash that like button Won't cost you a thing Subscribe to Salty and Sweet Let Hermes and Sarah take you around the world Oh, snow.